Hello everyone and welcome to Game Changer Wrestling. So much fun. As the great MLJ said, we are originating live from the showboat in Atlantic City and beaming to the world on IWTV. I am your boy KG Kevin Gill. Humbled and honored to be on the commentary team today alongside my good close personal friend, the bad boy Joey Janela. What up though, Joey? Hey, what's up, Kevin? Uh, it feels great to be back behind the commentary table here at GCW. You know, uh, I have just as much fun here as I do in the ring, watching wow. these guys and, uh, you know, it's just getting to see guys like this man right here, Juicy for now. He's basically the MVP of the COVID era of independent wrestling, Kevin. Yeah. What a time to be alive. It's Juicy's world and we're all living in it. Juicy, one giant mass of a, of a human being. A mountain of a man. Look at this. Big Toko. The charisma of this man just oozes out of his pores. You know when Ricky Morton notices you in a hallway, you know you stand out. Yes, absolutely. But while Juicy's been getting a whole lot of accolades just in the last few weeks coming off the collective and the last resort in uh, uh, Ocean Ca Orange County, California, now we get to see Juicy face, I think, his toughest challenge yet in a, in a, a GCW ring in his first, uh, well, second solo match, I should say. Yes. First one was with KTV, and that was a hell of a fucking battle, Joey. Jordan Oliver is one of the most improved wrestlers not only on the Game Changer Wrestling roster, but in professional wrestling. I've seen this guy since he was 14 years old. Putting a little mass on, a little size on in the last uh, six months. And uh, we'll see what kind of damage that does against a mountain of a man, as you said, Kevin, like Juicy for now. And that's the thing with Jordan. Jordan you know, his whole career, which you've got to see, Joey, he was always the smaller guy. Then about four months ago, when this COVID shit started, he kind of changed his training philosophy. He added breakfast to the regime. He's put on 40 pounds. We're working hard to put on a lot more mass, too. But suddenly, he's been used to being the bigger guy for the last four months, and now he's back to being the smaller guy because there's nobody bigger than Juicy. No, there's no one. <laughs> the independent wrestling in 2020 is the land of vanilla midgets. <laughs> yeah. And in the middle of it, there's an island called Juicy Land. Shout out to Juicy's parents at home watching using that free code, Game Changer, on IWTV. True story, because I hooked them up with it. Wow. Impressive show of strength, Joey. Why does us smaller vanilla midget wrestlers <laughs> always try to lock up with the bigger man? It never, it never works out for us. Wow. Well, I think Oliver's still feeling himself from, from that mass gain. I don't think he realizes yet just how big Toko is. Oh! Go for that avalanche slash the corner. Ooh. Oh! Trying to chop him down like a Tongan Redwood. <laughs> Juicy's like, fuck that oh, shit. Oh, there we go! Damn it! The size of his hand is like a fucking half a pizza pie. Here he comes. Jordy gets out of the way. Right Jordan back on the attack. Throwing those kicks the legs of Juicy for now. Jordan Oliver so quick. Just relentless. Just 21 years old too, Joey. Unlimited upside for this man whose goal is to be the best wrestler in the world. Speaking of young, Juicy for now is only 24 years old. I know he doesn't look like it. He looks like a grown man. And oh, oh, fuck. oh my God, the power of Juicy for now. Just throwing him up and over the top rope, just clearing it effortlessly. This man in the locker room is like a big cuddly teddy bear. You know, everyone wants to, to hang out with Juicy for now because he's such a, you can tell he has such a good heart, but when you get him mm. in the ring, you best not want to fuck with this guy. No, don't get him mad. Big Toko's old smiles and shit until you try to disrespect him, until you try to, try to get one over on him. Jordan grabbing at the leg, but a big <laughs> club from for now. Juicy takes this business very seriously. Oh yeah. As as you've seen, Ooh. the humbleness and the way he came into play here at GCW in professional wrestling. This man went to New Zealand. Yeah, he under, went to under Fale, Fale. Fale's dojo. 
He spent some time down south in Knox Pro with the great Rikishi, a WWE Hall of Famer. And it all started for him in the uh, in East Bay, the East Bay of the San Francisco Bay Area with Rick Luxury. Wrestling personified. But, I mean, Jordan Oliver's no slouch in, uh, in the Who Trained Him department. Because you got Jimmy Rave and Rich Swan put all that seasoning on, on Jordan Oliver during his development. I could be mistaken, but is Rick Luxury, does he have something to do with Jungle Boy as well? Mm -hmm. Was he a yeah. trainer as, as well for uh, yeah, Jack Rick, Perry? Rick is very prolific in uh, Northern California wrestling and between training at different places and whatever, he has been able to influence and season a lot of people and still active today in the ring. Oh, Juicy is starting the limp. So now we're seeing that the leg strikes and, and the leg work that Jordan Oliver's been doing in this contest oh. has been has been effective because Juicy is is limping around the ring. He is a big man, but he moves fast for a big man, and right now he's just not moving fast. Absolutely, but still had the presence of mind to just stand on Jordan Oliver and use his weight, but Oliver, the clout cutter in human form, trying to cut down the clout, cut down the internet buzz of Juicy. Again, the strength of Juicy, making it look easy, Joey. Oh, big lariat. Turn Jordan Oliver inside out. Jordan Oliver having to reinvent himself yet again. He had to do it during the start of the COVID era, and now he's got to reinvent where he's at in the ring because he can't use his newfound 40 pounds of muscle to, pu to push Juicy around or bully him in any way. Split crowd here between Jordan Oliver and Juicy for now. Oh, chop. Oh, my oh, God. Double-handed double overhead. <laughs> Why Jordan was on his back. That's not a position you want to be in. <laughs> Jordan showing no fear, but at this moment, barely able to move. Those strikes just took the wind right out of him. Oh, he caught the boot of the big there man. There is. He's kicking him. Just destroying the leg of Juicy. Oh, my God. Wow. Juicy with the counter. Oh, oh my Holy God. God, Joey. What part of the game is this? Hashtag so much fun. That's one of the biggest fucking cats I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Christ. I've never seen. <laughs> Juicy got you crazy, man. I say it every time I see him. But holy shit. The juice is on the loose here at GCW. So much fun live on IWTV. It's great to be back on IWTV. You know, these guys, I've seen these guys since the beginning. They evolved into something so great for independent wrestling Absolutely. For wrestling fans an incredible platform and only 9.99 a month joey jordan whenever he gets a chance you see him beating on those legs and as this match progresses juicy, <laughs> oh my god as this match progresses wow right here in front of us joey slower and slower but oh, i don't fuck. know big chop Big palm strike from Juicy. Juicy for now on the warpath. And this has turned into a monster movie. God damn. I was about to flee the commentary position, Joey Janela. Like I'm watching a, a <laughs> Texas Chainsaw Massacre as <laughs> one Joe of the Oliver teenagers yeah. run, run, run away from Leatherface, but. Wait a second. What is Juicy doing here? Juicy's got the crowd. Oh, my oh! God. And Jordan Oliver gets out of the way. Juicy's, and man, that massive back colliding with that steel ring post. You saw the, the way that ring shifted when Juicy hit that ring post. Jordan's going to die. He goes for a tope, but Juicy catches him in a bear hug. But Jordan elbows his way out of the bear hug, and Juicy has him up. Juicy Jordan's, has him up. Jordan's still throwing oh, them bows. Right into the ring bows. Spine first. Oh, big slam onto that apron. What is it going to take to get the big man off his feet? Jordan Oliver is giving it everything he's got and then some. But we've never, we don't know what does it take at this point. I feel like no one's ever taken Big Juicy down. But a great way to start that process is to take out the leg of the big man. Look how his speed has been greatly reduced if by I'm the brilliant mistaken, attack of Oliver. 
KTB, one of the strongest specimens ever in professional wrestling. Couldn't get the big man off his feet. Couldn't do it. And he's an incredible talent. Here goes Jordan again. Suicide dive. Chope Suicida. Jordan Alver gets the big man off his feet. And Juicy is down, and the crowd is on their feet. Game changer wrestling, indeed, the last fucking outlaws, Joey. This, what this is really showing me is how much Jordan Oliver has improved in the ring. The, the, way, the way his psychology is in there, picking apart somebody, especially someone much bigger than you. Of course. You know, I think I wrestled Jordan Oliver back in January at Run Ricky Run. It was my GCW return. I think the match would go a little bit different uh, if it would taken place. Sure. Uh, in the last couple months. 100%. Jordan Oliver's a different person today, I feel. But Joey Janela's got a lot more life experience and ring experience in that time as well. Man, sucks to see that anguish etched oh, on the face of oh. Juicy. Oliver, ruthless. Look, oh! Oh my God! One of those blows from Big Toko could end Jordan Oliver's career. Oliver showing no fear ever. Juicy puts him up for the Samoan drop. There we go. And now Oliver's got him in the corner. He's pounding away. What savagery. What a fucking hoss, man. Jordan Oliver showing and proving right here, right fucking now. It wasn't that long ago that we see Jordan Oliver get the shit knocked out of him by Chris Dickinson in the ring. True. Uh-oh. Oliver's going up. And is he going coast to coast? He might be. Oliver's so good at high flying, but he's kind of oh! changed his focus as of from late. New Jersey to the Bay Area. Boom. A coast to coast from Jordan Oliver, and he has to get this man to the middle of the, and he can't drag can't him. Can't do it. And that is very smart by our referee. You know, GCW is known for that outlaw mud show yes. bullshit, <laughs> but that referee did the right thing. He was trying to pull him out. Juicy was in the ropes. The referee broke it cleanly. He did the right thing in that scenario. He sure did. And that's the thing I was saying. Jordan Oliver has kind of reduced a lot of his high-flying game to just focus on the stuff he can do with this added 40 pounds of bulk. But he shows he can still fly with the best of them, making that coast-to-coast -coast leap. And I've never seen Juicy in this much trouble. Juicy's in a lot of trouble. He's been in that. And the referee has to. There you go. Thank you. Jordan Oliver. Now he's going at it with the with the with the tatted referee. Tatted referee clearly confident in his abilities to do his job and maintain order. Oh, fucking avalanche! Jordan Oliver saved tatted referee. He did from certain death. Oh, oh. another big avalanche splash in that corner. Like a shorthand avalanche the second time. And now look at that, just like that. That's all it took. Juicy back Gut in wrench. control. Gut wrench. Gut wrench. Almost into a Corey Guerrero! Oh! That's pretty it. Much, that was pretty much a Guerrero special into a go to sleep. Here comes Juicy! Oh! Holy fuck! What was that? One, two, three. What? Oh, come on! Come on! Did you see that, Joey? Someone please give that and that use the hashtag. So much fun. Of course. Flash from Juicy for now, and just when I think I saw all the tricks from this guy, he busts out something completely new, something completely crazy. Uh, he just he just surprises me, you know. There's no ceiling on this guy, <laughs> none. Oh, wait a second, Juicy's pointing to that corner. Wait a second, it's getting hot in her. The wing crew better have done a good job on these ropes. Because this is a 400-pound man. That's about the skill that oh. right now. I get scared every time something like this happens, Joey. Juicy. Putting that ring to the test. Jordan Oliver with the quickness. Oh. Is no. He? No. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Jordan Oliver just superplexes the big man. And I thought the ring was gonna implode! Oliver back on the attack! Cloud Cutter! Cloud Cutter! Here we go! Here comes the full version! Cloud Cutter! Oh, he takes him down again! That's, That's it! 
What a jump set! Two, three! What? What? His shoulder is up! Last Ooh, second! Fuck. Last second! I can't Last believe it, Joey. Second. I apologize, I thought that was three. The referee has done a very good job officiating this match. Last second, Juicy was just able to inch that shoulder off the, off the canvas. And now Oliver resumes that attack. Cloud Cutter! Gets another one. That's gotta be it. One, two, three. It took two Cloud Cutters. Nobody kicks out from the Cloud Cutter and it took two to take down Juicy. Really three. A lot of veterans say, Kevin, they say, when you go in there and you try a move like that, it doesn't work the first time, don't go for it again. Right. But Jordan Oliver used his instincts in there, and he picked up the victory against Juicy for now. And he was able to scramble the brains of Juicy, just rocking his skull with like six direct kicks to the face. Brutal impacts right before hitting that third Cloud Cutter. And we've seen the Cloud Cutter put away pretty much everyone that's ever been the recipient of it. And I've never seen anyone take as many Cloud Cutters as Juicy just did. But hats off to that man, Joey Jordan Oliver. But not everyone is Juicy for now. This, this is something, this is like someone we've never seen mm -hmm. on the independent scene in a very long time. No, I couldn't guys like this, when. Guys like this don't come by very often. I mean, when's the last one? I can't tell you. Keith Lee? Sure. We had, we, had that, sure. we had that era of independent wrestling a couple years ago. We had, we had the Walkers. We had Keith Lee. Sure. We had... Uh, Great examples. We had... Uh, Uh, we had a bunch of the guys. Yeah, there's seven.